comes to Trey Lance. I mean, Jimmy had a hot start too. I mean, I know there were differences, yeah. but I, I, I mean, hot start. Like you just said, you know, you can't judge too much on a cold, on a, a slow start. I feel like the same thing is true on a hot start. Seven, eight well, games, great, and a surgery. Like I'm, I'm still a little skeptical. He still I, was the I hear last you. pick in the draft. I hear yeah. you, but let's go beyond. Let's let's uh, push our scope beyond Jimmy. Name me another quarterback that you can think of that really started fast and looked great and just fell on his face. And because I agree with you, Jimmy got per, worse, 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 worse. And I know people would say, well, wait a second. Didn't he have a good year this last year? He took he eradicated the huge negative play. He, I got, he got rid name. of the huge negative play. But if you look at the numbers, he totally stopped throwing in the ball down the field and definitely down the field outside the numbers. Cat, Robert Griffin III. Kaepernick. Another guy who, who played for Kyle Shanahan, RG3. He had a great rookie year. You know, he was voted by his peers as the 15th best player in the league after his rookie year. Rookie of the year over Andrew Luck uh, towards ACL never was the same. So, I, so we'll that see was about a Brock Purdy. That was a physical deal. So, I agree. Now we're in Brock Purdy is a physical deal. Okay, possibly. Possibly. Yes! No, 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 no. He literally had surgery. We have no idea what he's going to look like. We don't right. know. But as far as we don't know, we, we can't say for sure that he's diminished. Like, if we saw him already and he was, he was a rag-arm guy, then we'd say, yeah. I mean... You're, I think you're hitting on something there. I think there's always a, a race in the NFL between you get to the NFL as a quarterback. Do you learn what to do and how to do it before mm. your body gets broken so badly right. that you're diminished or right. you're mentally so screwed up by being sacked? The guys mm -hmm. I thought you were going to name, the guys that come to mind, Rick Meyer, AFC how? Offensive Rookie well, of the time. Year. Yeah. Right. Before your yeah. time. But yeah. AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year. Then three years in a row, he was the most sacked quarterback in football, lost his confidence, floated around, even came here. Mm. Um, Jim Everett. Jim Everett was great mm. at Purdue, great early in his career. Go remember the Rome thing. Sacked where, himself. Yeah, and then sacked he sacked himself, himself right? against sacked the himself. Niners. Yeah. Against yep. the Niners. He, he literally went down. felt went the down. pressure and just kind of came down. down. in the, And that the was the end. That was the end of his career, right. pretty much. But, I mean, that those guys, I think, either got mentally fried by being sacked or they got physically diminished RG3 by because of injury. Um, but if you don't lose your arm strength or foot speed, and if you don't lose your your physical, I think you, the arrow points up on 99% of all quarterbacks. I think they Here's all the reason get better I, I, I brought up RG3, and I'm talking about Jimmy, just because this is a Kyle Shanahan thing. And I feel like what we see is a lot of times Kyle will find a quarterback who can run his system immediately. Or right. quickly and well. And that doesn't necessarily mean he's a great quarterback or an elite quarterback. It just means he runs Kyle's system very well. And when Kyle's clicking and the weapons are good and the defense is good, then that that quarterback's going to put up elite numbers and win. Right. And we've seen it happen with RG3 and Jimmy Garoppolo and now Brock. It doesn't necessarily mean that that guy's going to end up being a Pro Bowl quarterback or a great quarterback or a Hall of Fame quarterback. It just means that He's the next guy that Kyle Shanahan is having success with at that time. It also doesn't mean he won't be. Like, at some point, Kyle Shanahan could stumble into his John Elway or Steve Young. Um, but I just have to acknowledge that he's had these little spurts of runs with system quarterbacks in the past. I, there's no question, but let's go yeah. to the facts here on some of these other guys. Josh Allen is a rookie, 5 and 6, 10 touchdowns, 12 picks. Look what he is now. Jalen Hurts is a rookie, went 1 and 3. Look what he is now. Uh, Joe Burrow went yeah. two seven and one as a rookie, and had one had an injury that was far worse than Brock Purdy's injury, I believe. Mm -hmm. And Joe Burrow might be, if you had a quarterback draft, he might go after Mahomes, right? I mean, he's he's like highly coveted. Justin okay, Herbert real, 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 real quick, real quick. Brock Purdy has the it factor. We all love that. He's got intent, the intangibles off the charts. But we have to acknowledge that he cannot compare to any quarterback you just said in terms of physical gifts which are not the, the all that matters but it does matter you can't compare him to joe burrow you can't compare well, him to i mean justin herbert well as far as a thrower as far as stature no but as far as athletically they can't compare to him as far as what they did at the same stage of their career yeah but if you put justin herbert on this team i think he would have been pretty good with Christian but I'm just saying, Justin Herbert, did, first of all, Justin Herbert, I think to this minute might be sub 500, but Justin Herbert didn't have a good rookie year. Um, I'm taking and, and, Justin Herbert over Brock Purdy. That's well, I know. I, I know what you're saying. I hear you. <laughs> I know. I understand. Brock Purdy's not a big guy and he doesn't have a huge arm. 
But Brock Purdy's but, got good but numbers. He's got all kind of stuff. I'm totally with you on that. I'm not and writing him off. He's got all kind of stuff. But and let's you know be what? honest. Let's, and, but, I mean, you know, let's go back to January of 84 or January of 85 in the 84 Super Bowl. There were an awful lot of people going, Joe Montana doesn't match up to Dan Marino. He just doesn't. I'm not saying Brock Purdy's Joe Montana. I'm not. But I'm just saying the athletically superior quarterback isn't always the best quarterback. Otherwise, Jeff George I agree. would be awesome. You know, we agree. So hey, I'm, just, I, I, I'm not writing off Brock or Trey. I'm, I'm being negative. Maybe I'm in a bad mood today. All I wanted <laughs> to say is if I had to, if this were a bet and I had to put $10,000 on it, I just feel like I'd go the safe direction. No, the Niners haven't found a freaking franchise quarterback. I, I would bet on them not finding one for the, I mean, Kirk Cousins is going to be in this team next year is what I think. I'm feeling really cynical today, man. See, I don't know why. I, I would swear that you would th- feel that like, maybe Trey Lance was a franchise quarterback. I don't have any confidence in Kyle to coaching. If Trey Lance had Brian Dayball or uh, Nick Sirianni or Shane Steichen, that's a different story, but coaching matters. And Brian Greasy is so in love with Brock Purdy. I don't think he's invested in Trey. I don't think anyone's really invested in Trey on the night. I feel like they just don't know what to do with him. And uh, I think he's kind of just being put on ice. So we'll see if he develops himself with Jeff Christensen. But <laughs> I, I feel like the best of Trey is going to be when he's on the next team. That's kind of what do you going. think of the comments of his teammates then? Guys like uh, George Kittle and 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 Trent Williams who are like, man, the sky's the limit for Trey. And they've always said that about Trey. I still feel that the sky is the limit for Trey. But I still, I mean, you need an opportunity. You need a coach who believes in you. You need a plan that a team sticks to. Like he hasn't had any of that. None of that. So I agree. we'll see. He's still two, young. Two There's and two time. is Trey Lance, though. Right now, it's this crazy. Is Trey Lance. He's it's two crazy. and two. He's completed fifty-seven percent. He's got five touchdowns. He's got three picks. Perfectly Purdy reasonable a, start for a young man's career. He was twenty-one and twenty-two doing that. Right. But look, they like Brock. They think Brock is super special. You think Brock is super special? So he's caught in this he's spot. Special. He's caught in this spot. What, and the Niners are like, well, we don't know what to do because we acknowledge we haven't really coached him much, and he haven't given him an opportunity. And any number of teams could do better. So let's hold on to him. But in the meantime, we love Brock Purdy. I, I think they what they really love, Grant, is not Brock Purdy. It's what Brock Purdy represents. Brock Purdy represents going for it in the present and putting your most polished, ready-to-play quarterback on the field. I don't think that they think yeah. that Brock Purdy is super special. I just think they think Brock Purdy is ready right now on their timeline. Which I think is, John Lynch thinks Purdy is super special. You think so? Well, but I, mean, I, think he thought, I think he thought Jimmy was super special. <laughs> well, I mean, what's are we overly John. negative on Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy, no. how many quarterbacks? How many quarterbacks no. go to the Super Bowl? Uh, Rex Grossman went. Yeah. I'm going to be overly negative today. I, I'm in a weird mood. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm went. calling it right now. Trent Dilfer yeah, went. no, I'm, I'm not, not saying, overly I'm not negative on if Jimmy. You go to the Super Bowl, you're the guy. I'm just saying, Jimmy. We we definitely got we got a hot start from Jimmy. But we also saw, you know, Jimmy never to me, the one thing that was off with Jimmy Garoppolo. Tell me if you agree with this is his risk reward me, um, you know, dial. He never had it like so Rogers, Brady, Breeze, some of the better quarterbacks, Mahomes. They understand risk reward. Jimmy didn't. Jimmy would three great passes, a great drive. You get to the five yard line. He floats a duck into for yeah, a sea bad. of hands, it gets picked, and it's yeah, like, what the hell was that? I, I let me let me let me he be did Jimmy's that an awful uh, lot. He did that a lot. Lawyer for a minute because I love Jimmy so much. It's possible with a coach like Kyle, who's so micromanaging, pretty much tells you. I mean, what's the point of all those motions, right? To tell you what to do pre snap. You know it's zone or man. You know if define, the middle of the field is open define or Define the reads. Define, define where you're the going. read. Yeah. You're supposed to know where the ball's going if everything goes right pre snap. So. Uh, if you have a coach like that who's like basically on your butt if you don't throw the ball exactly where he wants it, then let's say you throw it where it's supposed to go based on the pattern and the coverage and it gets picked. You could walk back to the sideline with a little grin on your face being like, hey, man, you told me to do that. You told me to do that. And Kyle would be like, yes, yeah, true, I told you to do that. But then at the post-game press conference, he won't. He'll throw you under the bus. That's the crazy thing. But I always feel like this, there was never any ownership for his mistakes with Jimmy because maybe – if you have a micromanaging boss, you can always put it back on him and be like, man, I was just following your directions, bud. Your and they were very detailed. Remember? Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy with the mouthed out, your, your, your plays suck. Yeah. But you know what? I thought the, I'm one on of the side. things, one of my biggest takeaways on the Rollins video was uh-huh. that 
Kyle Shanahan does scheme up a lot of open receivers in that yeah. intermediate range, whether he did it for Passion. Jimmy, Purdy, Lance. Yeah. That's kind Passion. of Kyle's deal. Yeah, I mean, if you have that good of a run game and those kind of weapons and you can make the run plays and the play action plays look the same, that's what happened. I mean, Mike was doing that in the 90s. It's, that's the Shanahan trademark. Beautiful play action plays, but that's just a, 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 a little sliver of football. I mean, it's, it's not effective when you fall behind. It's not situational football. I mean, at a certain point, you got to drop back and pass. Maybe not in the regular season, but in the playoffs, you do. And I think that's the biggest drawback with their system is their offensive line is built for the outside zone. Their, their system is built for the outside zone and play action. But, like, you need to drop back. Like, you're going to go against a team that can score in a minute. You're going to go against Kansas City or Buffalo or any of these teams that can just drop back and score in a freaking minute. And you're, you're so slow. You go to the line of scrimmage, you do 18 motions. I mean, all, your whole offense is built on running the clock and winning time of possession. Like, yeah, that, that'll win you the NFC West, but is it going to win you? The, are you going to win the Super Bowl wasting clock? Like, no, you got to score fast at some point. And I think, I don't know that the Shanahan offense really does that. It's all based on guys breaking through on Yak. Like when they score quickly, it's Debo breaking eight tackles. That's the, the quick score for them. They, you know, they we're, we're going to get into Kyle as a play caller. Astro says Larry's going to eat a lot of crow if Purdy lays an egg next season. Man, there's no doubt. No, he won't. No, no, he won't. But Purdy's in a tough position right now. I, I want to point out, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo tore his ACL, had the entire offseason to come back and start week one, 2019, and then he went to the Super Bowl. Brock is not in that situation. Brock's going to have like two or three weeks, and they're going to be like, all right, dude, you're good. Like, th that's essentially not fair. So I think people need to keep that in mind when we see whatever we see from Brock this year.